Hello and welcome back to my channel Fly High with Priya. In this video, I'll be discussing a poem written by Selvia Pelt in 1961 and it was published in 1963. And the title of the poem is Mirror. It is a very, uh, you can say, a very beautiful poem written by her in which the mirror is personified, means the personification figure of speech has been used in which mirror acts like a, a living being. And he expresses himself that he is truthful, he describes how he looks and what he presents. He presents the true picture, whatever comes in front of him. And uh, in this, through this, the theme of aging or mortality has been discussed by Selvia Perth. Now let's get started with the poem. And the poem starts with these lines. I am silver and exact. I have no preconceptions. Here, the mirror says that my color is silver I, and I am exact. I show whatever the thing is there in an exact manner, how it appears. I have no preconceptions. Preconceptions means pre-opinions. I do not form any opinions. I, I have no opinions regarding any person. Whatever I see, I swallow immediately. Whatever comes in front of me, I immediately swallow. Swallow means... Uh, swallow is used, you can say, to uh, consume, you can say. But here it means that it reflects, it shows whatever comes in front of it, just as it is. And he shows the thing as it is. There is no change in it, unmisted by love or dislike. Unmisted means unfoggy. It is clear. It is not foggy. It is not uh, out of hatred or love. I am not cruel only truthful and people call me cruel but I am not cruel I am just truthful I just reflect the image as it uh, as it is now uh, in the next lines the mirror says the eye of a little god four cornered I have four corners one two three four like if a mirror is of a square shape then it is having four corners and mirror compares himself to God. He says that he has the eyes of God. In front, as in front of God, everything is equal. Similarly, in front of mirror, everything is equal. He doesn't uh, discriminate with anything. And in the next line, the mirror says, most of the time I meditate on the opposite wall. And mirror says that most of the time I meditate. I meditate means I always reflect the opposite wall because uh, all the time there is uh, nothing reflected. Now only opposite wall is visible. It is pink with speckles. And it is pink in color. That wall is having pink color. And it is having speckles. Speckles means spots. I have looked as it, uh, at it so long. I think it is a part of my heart. And Mirror says that he has looked at that wall for so long that he feels that that opposite wall is the part of the mirror. But it flickers. But uh, that, that is not so. It is not the part of mirror because it flickers, because it changes. I think uh, faces and darkness, darkness separate us over and over. And the wall and mirror is separated by the faces who appear in the mirror and sometimes when darkness falls then he is not able to see that wall so in those cases he feels that that wall that opposite wall is not its part in the next stanza second stanza the poetess says now i am a lake the mirror says that i am a lake a woman bends over me and a lady bends over me means a woman sees a face, sees her face in me, in mirror. Searching my reaches for what she really is. And she searches uh, inside me that how she looks, uh, how she's looking. She sees something. She, she's searching something. She is searching her, you can say, age, uh, beauty, which, she, uh, which has faded over the time. Then she turns to those liars, the candles, or moon, or the moons. And when she looks in the mirror, the mirror truthfully reflects the image of that woman. And then she is sad and she turns towards those liars. And the liars are the moon and the candle. Because uh, it is generally said that moon and candle have dim lights. So they do not reflect the 
proper thing the proper clarity of the things which appear means all things uh, appear very beautiful in moonlight or candle and that woman when she sees her face in a mirror she immediately turns to those liars the candles and the moon i see her back and now he uh, jo hai he sees his back and he reflects it faithfully and he reflects it faithfully how whatever is there however uh, whatever way the back looks he reflects it like this only like that only she rewards me with tears and edit and an agitation of hands and when she looks at the mirror she is sad she awards him she awards him with the tears mean she start crying when she sees her face in the mirror because it has become aged it is day by day uh, uh, getting wrinkles or whatever means she is losing her beauty i am important to her now the mirror says that i am very important to her she comes and goes she just comes sees her face and daily means it is a daily routine we always look at mirror daily so she comes and goes each morning it is a face that replaces the darkness and the face which is visible in that uh, mirror is of her only and it is the face which separates mirror and the darkness or you can say it separates the wall and mirror in me she has drawn a young girl and in me an old woman and here the poetess or uh, you can say uh, poetess in the words of mirror has explained that when she was a girl she used to look in the mirror and now she has become an old woman and she is looking in the same mirror all the life journey has been there in that mirror he uh, he has seen her getting aged rises towards her day after day like a terrible fish and she has and it is the mirror which has seen her rising every day fighting every day and getting aged day by day so this was the poem beautiful poem in which the mirror is personified in which he is expresses uh, expressing himself that how mirror is uh, exact how he is truthful how he is not cruel how he is like a god's eye in front of every means uh, in front of god everyone is equal similarly in front of god every uh, sorry mirror everyone is equal he is like a lake in which you can just take out a water and uh, again water will come more water will come similarly mirror is like that only you will see the image and again when you retreat you will not see and if when you will come again then you will see your image again so this is how the poetess has beautifully covered the poem has written the poem i hope this poem is very much clear to you thank you thank you for watching jaane se pehle do subscribe share and like my videos till then bye bye